So what would you do if you showed up to work on a Monday morning and you went to type in your username and your password and instead of getting that regular screen, you got a message that said, hey, unless you pay me $10,000, you're never seeing your data again. Ken, tell me, what, what is Forensics IT and how does that come into play after you have a network security incident? Well, as the question that you, 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 you posed earlier, what happened? Who did it happen to? How do we stop this from happening? You know, uh, sort of contain this. How do we rebuild the data? With Forensics IT, that's what you're getting. You're getting a team that's designed, that's, that are specialists in containing a, a situation, uh, fixing the issues, and getting your business up and running. It, it, it's really yeah. a full report. So really these, the forensics IT specialists, they're really just sort of almost IT guns for hire that know exactly how to attack a ransomware incident or a data breach um, and really get your business back up and running to the extent that it should be. So if you actually are dealing with, say, a ransomware attack, why, why would you not use your own internal IT staff to figure out what's going on and try and make it better? Well, your, your own IT staff is going to be limited in knowledge and experience for the most part. This is a true response team. This is what they do day in and day out. That's the sort of response you want. If you look at the Poneman Institute, they released a report in 2018 in July where it stated businesses who contained a data breach within 30 days suffered a million dollars less in damages to those who suffer or who didn't contain it for longer than 30 days. Okay, so so having these folks come into play really can have a, a, a dramatic, frankly, impact to the total cost it takes you to resolve a particular incident. Absolutely. From what I'm hearing, there might be some sort of legal ramifications to something like a ransomware attack or a network security incident. And if you have certain types of data, you might actually have evidence that needs to be collected. How would Forensics IT help you collect that evidence? Well, it would let you know sort of a, a, a time of events, of things that have happened, what information was lost, what was stolen, um, what format was it? Was it encrypted? Was it uh, not encrypted? Did you lose the decryption key with that? Was it health information? There are state laws and there's regulations that pertain to the type of information, what was lost and stolen. There's also time lengths in which you have to notify individuals. So the collection of data is one of the more important pieces of the forensics process. Okay. And then once that data gets collected, there's a whole legal effort, I'd imagine, that falls up or follows in behind that to help you assess what legal obligations you might have. And that's actually going to be our theme for next week's episode. We're going to talk about what legal ob obligations you might have following a network security incident and also talk about some of the legal resources that a cyber insurance policy is going to provide to you in the event that you have to deal with that. So to make sure you see next week's episode, make sure to like Houseman Johnson on LinkedIn and Facebook. And thank you for watching. We appreciate you stopping by. Cheers.